Hi. Today I want to show you the, uh, the Texas Instrument home computer 99/4A. Um, it's pretty old. I'm talking like I don't know 1980 or something. And um, I picked this uh, I picked this baby up in a giant bundle of game systems that I recently purchased. Um, I decided I, I was going to keep this, and uh, I plugged it all in, turned on, everything was, appeared to be cool, until I tried to type thing, something, and uh, basically the, none of the buttons worked on the keyboard. Um, so what I ended up doing was just uh, taking it apart, and all I did was... Um, pretty much just clean clean the uh, the keyboard and everything works perfect um, there is a, a thin piece of plastic under these keys and um, that has all the traces on them and uh, when you pull that off you have to do it real slow otherwise you'll you know it might be stuck onto the board after sitting there for so long and um, you'll end up doing more damage so just take it off really slow if you if you see it start you know pulling stop you know try to lift it up from a different area once you get that all off you want to clean that plastic piece with the traces on it with uh, just uh, like dish soap and water and uh, you know rinse it off let it dry. Um, the other part of the board has like gold contacts on it. Um, I used like rubbing alcohol on those and cleaned that up real nice. Uh, I got it all back together and then all the keys worked. Um, there are different um, different versions of this keyboard. I think there's quite a few different versions of it, but um, my particular version is probably the uh, biggest pain in the ass to work on and some of the others but they can be fixed you know they're just sitting around collecting dust for 20 30 years you um, they just stop working so you got you got to clean them you got to take them apart anyways um, I want to show you a little secret about this system that not not uh, too many people know about and uh, let's turn it on there we go press any key Boom. All right, we're going to go into basic mode here. Okay, let me put the camera down for a second so I can type in this command. Let's see. what we typed in www.google.com I know what you're thinking well, how the hell is that gonna connect to that well there's the secret there's the secret and I'm gonna show you that in just two seconds so you know back when this computer was made they didn't even know what Google was Little did they know that this machine would be capable of accessing Google. Let's hit the enter button. Bam. Oh yeah, look at that. Complete computer badassery right there. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Anyways, not only does it access Google, but it also plays games. And I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, um, 
he's gonna put in like Halo or something. No, no, I'm just gonna show you that it plays games. Um, press on the key. I'm gonna hit two. Voila! Badass or what? And, uh, that's the uh, Texas Instrument home computer 994A. And remember, if you have a problem with the keyboard, it can be easily repaired. If you need help, uh, shoot me a uh, shoot me a message here on YouTube, and uh, I'll uh, better describe exactly uh, how I did it. And uh, before I go, I also picked up uh, these two things in the um, bundle of crap that I got. First is the Odyssey. And, uh, I mean, the, I know the box looks pretty bad, but you should have seen it before. I, like, completely repaired this box. It was an utter... I mean, the normal person would have thrown this away. It was moldy, it was gross, and it was completely crushed. And now it's, uh... It's at least, you know, functional. I mean, pretty strong. I reinforced it with cardboard. I uh, used a shitload of glue. I used wood glue. And I just uh, cut in new cardboard pieces to give this some strength. Um, this unfortunately was all ripped and so I just had to tape all that back together. But I got that and I got this bad boy here. I actually made this box because um, this didn't come with a box, but so I made my own box. It came out pretty cool. And it's, you know, it's a nice, nice box. Not an original box, but it holds all the shit. Here's my cartridges. There's the Atari XE system. Controllers, you know, cables, some more games. And uh, yeah. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, remember, that bad boy can get on the internet. Oh, and and it's wireless. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye.